the barbecue. Mickey Mouse and Pluto just parked the camper van. So they get out of the chair. Oh no, Pluto fell over with excitement getting out. So Mickey got out and said, come on Pluto, let's have a barbecue. So what should we do? So with a helping hand, the barbecue is set up and the barbecue has corn, burgers, cheese and sausages on it. So Mickey moves the barbecue into position. Pluto, grab the table, Mickey said. So Pluto goes over and drags the table over. So Mickey said to Pluto, Pluto, this is a bit boring on our own. Should we invite some friends over? So Pluto got really excited. So Mickey went over to the phone to ring a couple of friends. Who will he ring? Pluto can't wait to see who comes over. So Mickey has a long list of really good friends. But I wonder who will come. Everyone loves a barbecue. So Mickey said, Pluto, I've asked a few friends to come over. Can you guess who they are? So in comes Fireman Sam. Hey Fireman Sam, Mickey said. How are you? I'm great, Fireman Sam said. And it's Dora the Explorer. Who else will come? Dora goes over to Pluto and smooths him. Who's next? said Fireman Sam. And in comes Peppa Pig. Oh no, Peppa scared Mickey. And Mickey said, Wow, you got me then, Peppa. You really scared me. So Peppa, Fireman Sam and Dora are the friends that Mickey phoned for the barbecue. So on the barbecue today they're having burgers, corn and sausages. Pepper goes to the table. So does Fireman Sam. And Dora goes to the table as well. So Pluto gets really excited because he knows he's going to get the sausages. So Mickey goes over to the fridge to get some drinks for Fireman Sam and Peppa Pig. So he opens the fridge, gets a couple of drinks out and places them on the table and said, you go Fireman Sam and Peppa Pig. Dora, don't forget to get yours, said Mickey. So Mickey, Peppa Pig, Fireman Sam, Pluto and Dora all settled down to have a really nice barbecue. And Mickey's really happy because all his best friends have turned up for the barbecue. Peppa Pig was at the Ponte Pandy fire station with Officer Steele, Elvis and Tom Thomas. When Peppa realises Fireman Sam's not here, she asks, Where's Fireman Sam, guys? And Officer Steele said, Fireman Sam has gone to collect our new boat today. And then Elvis said, I can't wait to see our new boat, Pepper. Are you going to stay around to see it? When Tom Thomas spots Fireman Sam, Pepper looks and says, There he is now. I can see him. And he's on the boat. Come on, Peppa. Stay by there now out of the way, said Officer Steele. But Peppa just gets way too excited. So when Fireman Sam comes over, he's like, Hey guys, do you like the new boat? How cool is this? We've just had it serviced and we've just given it a clean. So Tom Thomas comes round and sees it and says... This is fantastic. This is really going to help us when we're doing our rescues, said Tom Thomas. 
So Officer Steele comes round and said, Whoa, this is a cool boat. And Elvis loves the boat as well. So Fireman Sam comes a little bit forward and Pepper said, I'm going to jump on that with you. So Fireman Sam said, come on Pepper, jump on the back. So Pepper Pig jumped on the back of the boat with Fireman Sam. And they move slowly just to move it in position. So everyone needs to move out of the way now so Fireman Sam can park the boat up for the day. So Tom Thomas moves out of the way. As well as Officer Steele as well as Elvis. So as Fireman Sam drives off Pepper falls. Oh no! Pepper said it's fine. And he also hit off Elvis. Elvis, don't be silly. Get up. Said Fireman Sam. So Elvis gets up and said, I'm fine. And Officer Steele is laying down on the job again. Pepper's still laying down. And she likes it in the back of the boat. Come on, Pepper, stand up. So everyone at the Pont de Pandy fire station loved the new boat. And it's going to help a lot of people when they take it out for their rescues. Fireman Sam and Pepper Pig were upstairs in the fire station when Fireman Sam said to Pepper, We better go downstairs, Pepper, and go outside to see Tom Thomas. He's got something to show us. So Fireman Sam makes his way down the fireman's pole and he says Come on Pepper, it's your turn now. Don't be scared. You know you'll enjoy it. So Pepper gets onto the pole and down Pepper goes as well. Wee! She says, that's loads of fun. So Pepper and Fireman Sam were downstairs. And they need to go into Venus to go outside. And outside should be Tom Thomas. With his surprise for Fireman Sam and Pepper Pig. So Fireman Sam and Pepper Pig drive outside. When they say, where's Tom Thomas? Pepper says, there he is now. He's coming over, said Pepper. So Tom Thomas drives next to the fire station and said, Hey guys, look what I got. I've got another Venus. And we'll call this one Venus 2. This can help us when we've got fires to tackle that just one can't cope with. So Fireman Sam gets out with a helping hand and goes over to see it and said, wow, that's almost identical to the one we already got. And then Tom Thomas said, yeah, it's exactly the same. And I think it looks really cool having two of these parked next to each other. And it'll be great for when we need to fight fires together. So we can use two of them at the same time. So Pepper said, to Tom Thomas. Tom Thomas, are you going to drive that one? And Tom Thomas said, yeah. This is going to be my one for when Fireman Sam needs a helping hand with some fires to put out. Especially in the forest, this will come up really handy. So Tom Thomas, Fireman Sam and Peppa Pig were really happy they got two Venuses. Fireman Sam was at the garage and he was waiting for Pepper and George to come because he's going to show Pepper and George his new collection. So in comes Pepper with a fire engine and George is with it as well. 
and George jumps out of the fire engine eh, and goes over to see Fireman Sam and says, Hey, Fireman Sam, how are you? And Fireman Sam said, I'm great. How are you guys? Pepper gets out of the fire engine and says, We are good. I can't wait to see a new collection, Fireman Sam. Are you going to take us to see it? Where is it? said Pepper. So Fireman Sam said, It's upstairs. I put it on the second floor. So I've got loads of space for it upstairs. Should we go upstairs to see it? So Pepper and George got really excited and said, Yeah, let's go. So Fireman Sam heads off to go to the collection. So Fireman Sam is on the second floor and he's waiting for Pepper and George to come. Pepper said, Come on, George, we're up here. Where are you? So Fireman Sam said, I can see George. There he is. He's on the wrong floor. What's he doing up there? said Pepper. So George said, I can see a collection. It's really cool. So Fireman Sam, Pepper and George, with the help and hand of course, all go over to see the Thomas and Friends collection. Oh no, Fireman Sam's fallen off. Quick, quick, Fireman Sam, get back up. So with a helping hand, Fireman Sam got back up. Wow, said Pepper, what a cool collection you've got. Who are they? So the first train we got is Thomas. Thomas the Tank Engine, said Fireman Sam. The second train is James, the number five engine. Then we have Mavis, which is a really cool train. George really likes Mavis. Then we have number two, which is Edward. Wow, said George. Your collection is super cool. And my last train is the number four, which is Gordon. Pepper said, wow, has it taken you long to collect these? Fireman Sam said, I keep getting special deliveries from Postman Pat. And then George said, where's Percy, where's Percy? And Fireman Sam said, when you're collecting, George, you need to be patient. You can't get all the toys that you want at the same time. You just have to take what you can get when you can find them. So George is having loads of fun jumping on the trains. So Pepper and George loved Fireman Sam's Thomas and Friends collection. Grandad Dog and Pepper Pig were at the garage when Pepper said, What are we doing now, Grandad? Grandad replied, saying we're waiting for a special delivery from Postman Pat. So Pepper gets really excited and said, What is it? What is it? And Grandad said, You'll have to wait and see, Pepper. Oh, Pepper can't wait to see Postman Pat and Jess, the black and white cat. Grandad Dog says, Here's Postman Pat now, Pepper. And Jess is in there as well. No, Postman Pat, come back. Oh, hi guys. I forgot I got your special delivery. And Postman Pat seems to be leaning on Jess. So with a helping hand, Postman Pat gets out of the his van and said, Hi Grandad, hi Pepper, how are you? Pepper and Grandad are great. Meanwhile, Jess jumps out of the car onto the bonnet and can't wait to see Pepper. And so Pepper calls Jess over. And Jess goes over and sees Pepper. And Grandad Dog. So what have you got for us, Postman Pat? Is it my tire machine? 
So Postman Pat said, give me a minute, I'll go and get it. So Postman Pat goes up and gets the special delivery, which is the tire machine. Wow, that was really heavy, Postman Pat said. Pepper said, that's such a big machine, Grandad. What's it for? It's to pump the tires up on the cars or bikes, said Grandad Dog. Postman Pat said, oh, you wouldn't mind pumping up my tires, would you, Grandad Dog? I think they're a little bit low. So with a helping hand, the van is moved into place with Postman Pat inside. And Grandad Dog can then pump the tyres up on Postman Pat's red van. So Grandad pumps the tyres up and said, All done now, Postman Pat. And Postman Pat said, Oh, thanks, Grandad Dog. That'll really help with my deliveries today. So Postman Pat calls Jess back. Come on, Jess, jump back in. So Jess jumps in and goes through the front window. So Postman Pat's really happy now. He's seen Grandad Dog and Pepper, and he's had his tires pumped up. So Grandad and Pepper were left to look at the new machine. So now the garage is for. Oh no! Grandad fell over. Are you alright, Grandad? said Pepper. I'm fine, said Grandad Dog. So now the garage is full with three big machines. Don't forget to subscribe. Peppa Pig, Fireman Sam and Officer Steel were all having a chat at the office. And it's been a really slow day so far. They haven't had many calls and they haven't been that busy. They've done a bit of training when Officer Steele gets a phone call and says, Oh no, the fire station is on fire. Quick, Elvis just rung me. And George is there too. So with a helping hand, Fireman Sam jumps into Jupiter. Followed by Peppa Pig. Oh no, Peppa fell over goes into a fire engine. So they both get ready to go to the fire station to save Ponta Pandi. So Peppa's first, Fireman Sam second. An officer still said, I hope they're going to be okay. Meanwhile, at the Ponta Pandi fire station, Elvis is with George, and George was visiting Elvis when a fire broke out. And Elvis has already tried to chuck sand over the fire. Now he's going to try to chuck water over the fire to see if that helps. As you can see, the bucket is on fire. So Elvis tries to chuck the water over the fire, but it still won't go out. So he stands back and says, George, be careful. And then George says, here's Peppa Pig and Fireman Sam. So Fireman Sam comes in first, and then Pepper comes up and says, Oh no, look at the fire, it's on the top. So Peppa Pig, with a helping hand, gets out. And says, What are we going to do, Fireman Sam? Have you got any ideas? And then Fireman Sam said, I've got a cool idea. You jump onto the water gun on top. And I'll put you in position so you can put the fire out. And Peppa said, that's a great idea. Let's do it. So Peppa Pig jumps on top and goes into the crane. And gets the hose pipe ready. And then Fireman Sam raises her up and places her in position to put the fire out. So Peppa Pig's in position to put the fire out now. So she's soaking the fire with water Pepper said it's not going out Fireman Sam Fireman Sam says just keep doing it and it'll go out 
So Peppa Pig continues, and eventually the fire is put out. Wow, that was a close call, Peppa said. So Peppa jumps out and says, Wow, Elvis, good work phoning in Officer Steel. Meanwhile, Fireman Sam jumps out as well and said, That was pretty close. How did the fire start? Fireman Sam said. Elvis said, I, I, do, I don't know. I'm not sure. And then George runs over to Pepper and says, Thank you, Pepper. You saved us. And Elvis said, Sam, I tried to put the fire out with some sand and water, but it just wouldn't work. And Fireman Sam said, You know, we need proper hoses to put fires like that out. So Pepper and Fireman Sam saved the fire station from disaster. Don't forget to subscribe. Pepper, George, Daddy and Mommy Pig were all in the front room and in the kitchen. When Pepper goes up to Daddy Pig and says, Daddy, can our friend stay over tonight? Can we have a sleepover? And Daddy said, who is it? And then George turns around and says, it's the bananas in pyjamas. And then Daddy said, it's fine by me, but you'll have to ask Mommy Pig first. And make sure it's okay with her. So Peppa rushes over to see Mommy Pig and says, Mommy, Mommy, can the bananas in pyjamas stay over tonight? We want to have a cool sleepover. And then George comes over, who is really excited, and says, Thanks, Mommy. So Peppa goes upstairs and shouts out of the window, B1, B2. Mommy and Daddy Pig said you can stay over. So along came B1, who is really excited. And he said, hey guys, can't wait to stay over tonight. Thanks, Mommy, Daddy Pig. Where's B2, George said. He was behind me. Here he is now. So B2 comes in and B2 is more more excited than B1. I said, oh guys, I can't wait to stay over tonight. We're going to have loads of fun. So Mommy Pig goes off to the kitchen along with Daddy Pig. So Peppa said to, get to the bananas in pyjamas, said, hey guys, what should we do? Where should we go? And where are we going to sleep? And George said, I got a cool idea. Why don't we go upstairs and play on the game that's on my floor, which is the train game. So with a helping hand, some of the furniture is moved to create space for the bananas in pyjamas to sleep over. The Bananas and Pepper and George were all playing with a cool train set that's on Pepper's floor. And they were having loads of fun. When Mommy and Daddy Pig calls to him and says, Guys, it's time for bed now. And Pepper, George and Bananas have had loads of fun up until this point. So there we go, Mommy said. I've set out all your beds and I've made some cool blankets out of Play-Doh for you. So, B2 gets into bed with a helping hand, of course, and places the Play-Doh blanket on top. And once B2 is in bed, Who's next? It's B1. So it's B1's turn to go into bed now. As you can see, Mommy Pig has created these cool Play-Doh blankets to keep B1 and B2 warm. And then Pepper and George said, Have we got Play-Doh blankets as well, Mommy? 
And then Daddy Pig said, yes, of course you have. So George jumps into the top bunk and said, who's going to put the blanket on me? So with a helping hand, the blanket is placed over George to keep him nice and warm for the night. And Pepper the pig was last to get into bed. So with a helping hand, Pepper gets into bed and the blanket is placed over the top. You have to have a cool blanket for the night just to keep you nice and warm, said Mommy and Daddy Pig. So B1 and B2 said, Good night, George. Good night, Peppa. Then George said, Good night, B1, B2. And Peppa said, Good night, George, B1, B2. Have a great sleep. So everyone went to sleep happy. Peppa and George have come across this cool looking spaceship. And Peppa said, George, look at this. Do you think we should go in? And George was holding his little dinosaur said, oh, I don't know. It looks kind of scary. But with a helping hand, the doors are opened. So first we open the bottom door. Then we open the middle door. Then we move up and we open the top door. Because Pepper and George are only small, they need a helping hand with these kind of things. So Pepper and George are really excited to explore the spaceship. So George said, Look, Pepper, it's Thomas. Hey, Thomas, Pepper said. And Thomas said, What have you found, guys? Looks like a cool spaceship. Have you been in yet? And Pepper said, no, we haven't been in yet. We just opened the doors. So Thomas goes to have a little look and said, it looks really interesting, guys. I think we should go inside. And George still isn't sure whether he should go in or not. And Thomas said, it'll be fine, guys. If Pepper drives, I'm sure we'll be safe. So George wants to go into the middle. So he's gone into the middle. And the middle looks like you could learn some stuff inside. It's got a cool ABC alphabet and numbers. George said to Pepper, Pepper, it's really cool in here. Come and have a look. So the top door is opened and Pepper jumps right in and sits on the seat and said, guys, this is looking fantastic. I can drive from up here. So close the door behind Pepper, and Pepper can still see out. And she goes, hey, George, can you see me? And George laughs and says, yes, I can see you. You're sticking your nose right out. So we close the door behind George. Pepper's still looking out. And now it's Thomas's turn. Come on, Thomas, get in. So with a helping hand, Thomas gets in. And Thomas needs to go in on a funny little angle, because he's too big. But he is a train after all. So is everyone in, Pepper said. And Thomas and George said, yeah, we ready, be careful. So with the help in hand, the spaceship takes off. Come on, Pepper, go. So they have a little fly, and Pepper said, wow, this is amazing. How cool is this, guys? Maybe we should go and get Mommy and Daddy Pig and show them. And then Thomas said, that's a great idea. Come down here, guys. So after the little trip, Thomas, George, and Pepper had a really fun time in the little spaceship they found. It's amazing what fun you can have with things you find these days. Pepper and George said, don't forget to subscribe. The School Fire 
Dora and her teacher just got to school and Dora spots a fire up there, she said. She said, Miss, Miss, look at that. How can we go to school when there's a big fire? And how did it even start? So Miss said, Don't panic, Dora. We'll phone Fireman Sam and Peppa Pig. And they'll both come in their fire engines and hopefully they'll save the day. So the teacher phones Fireman Sam and Peppa Pig and says, Guys, we need you quick. Our school's on fire. So the teacher and Dora move out of the way so they're not in the way when the fire engines turn up. Who's going to be first? Wow, it's Fireman Sam, said Dora. He'll know what to do. And Fireman Sam said, Don't panic, guys. So Peppa came in her fire engine and Peppa said, Which fire engine should we use? Fireman Sam. Fireman Sam said, Let's use mine because mine's got a big crane with a hose on it. So with a helping hand, Peppa jumps out of her fire engine and starts panicking and going, Wow, look at that fire up there. So Peppa jumps onto the lift and now it's Fireman Sam's job to move Pepper into position to put out the fire safely and quickly. So Fireman Sam said, hold on Pepper, it's going up. So slowly but surely, Fireman Sam places Pepper into position. And Pepper's put the first fire out. Now there's three more to go. And out goes the second. How are we getting on, Fireman Sam said. Peppa said, we're doing great. There's just two more left. So again, taking her time, Peppa Pig and Fireman Sam put the fire out properly. We're on our last bit now, Peppa said. And there we go. Pepper said, we're all done now, Fireman Sam. So Fireman Sam lowers Pepper down safely so she can jump off the arm and be with Dora and the teacher. So Fireman Sam lifts the arm back up, puts it away, and jumps out to the fire engine. And Peppa said, oh, there's a bit of mess here, Fireman Sam. Do you want me to clean it up? And Fireman Sam said, no, I'll do it. But Dora runs over and says, wow, thanks, guys. You really put that fire out quick. I was surprised how, how easy it went out with you guys doing the job. So meanwhile, Fireman Sam's cleaning up the mess. So then the school can open and the kids can go to school. And the teacher comes over and says, Peppa, you did a great job today. Thanks for helping us out. And Peppa said, that's fine. It's all in the day's work for me and Fireman Sam. We really like helping out the other people. And now the school can open and you can teach everyone. So everyone's a winner, said Peppa Pig. And Fireman Sam said, if you get any more trouble, just give me a call and we'll be down straight away so everyone can go to school happy. <laughs>